Good evening and welcome to Roulette Rivals World Championship 2021. This is a winner's bracket round four match between Ducker and Throat. Uh, Ducker picked Bangkok and Throat chose Marrakesh. We'll be going to Bangkok first. Uh, Ducker banned Colorado. Uh, boo. And Throat has vetoed Miami. Uh, Miami Mumbai, so yay. Uh, Ducker finished first in Group C with 26 points, winning all seven of his matches with 40 points, just missing out on the maximum of 42 thanks to basically the heroics of Bat Games and Cobalt. Uh, they held Ducker to a draw on two maps. Not that they could actually force Ducker to draw, but you know, who doesn't love a David and Goliath story? In Group B, you had Ducker, obviously, Agent Mando, Joe the Baby Grabber, Crudy, Tribiat, Cobalt, Taran, and Bat Games. Now, Froaty, he dropped, dropped matches to Agent 420 and Pajero, but that didn't stop him from coming out on top of Group D. Now, he finished up with 22 points, the maximum available only being 30 points uh, due to two dropouts from that group. Yeah, Froaty dropping those two matches didn't matter much. He is a slow burner. He does tend to start a competition slowly, but soon heats up. Now, group D was dubbed the Group of Death purely because of the letter D, it did have uh, Froaty, Vajiro, Agent 420, Coates, Hashishin, Soviet Jubov, and uh, before they dropped out, Chubby and Connor B. In the KO stage so far, obviously neither player has lost a match, but they have faced some stiff competition. Ducker has seen off Brain Fixer, Papia Fresse, and Danny Buta, only dropping two of the seven maps played in those matches. Froaty sent Mikkelers, Joe the Baby Grabber, and Meme Junkie down to the LB. Uh, only losing one map in all of those games. Now, you've got to remember, these are two Hitman speedrunners with a long and storied history. The tale of their competition so far in Roulette Rivals 2021 doesn't even scratch the surface, I'm sure. Uh, Agent 420 and Barbecue will have uh, plenty, plenty of stats to bust out as we go along. Winner, will they'll go on to face Kei Kanata in the semi-final. Uh, Kei Kanata, all, uh, of course, coming through against Pajira earlier today uh, on Barbecue's channel. So check out the VOD if you have if you weren't able to see it live. A cracking match. Uh, the loser will drop down to the LB to face the winner of Chris X3 and Yanini. Anyway, if you've never played Hitman Roulette before, if all this is new to you, it's quite simple. You're going to spin. Let's say we're going to Paris. Uh, you'd have to kill Victor Novikov with a hatchet whilst dressed as the palace staff. Dahlia Margolis with a silenced SMG whilst disguised as the stylist. You go into the map, perform those two kills in those two disguises, get out of the uh, map with five stars or green guns. Uh, if you do it before your opponent, you get two points. If after 47 minutes, neither player has managed to do that, they get a point each. Now, this is a round four match, so it is the first to six points. Um, so yeah, that's basically how it works. Uh, I'm going to be joined for this match by Barbecue and Agent 420. And like I say, we'll be off to Bangkok in about three minutes. So seeing as we're off to Bangkok, we may as well have a quick look at the mission brief and to see where we're here. We'll see you in a moment. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Phraya River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Hey, Mr. Chef. 
Good evening. It wasn't it supposed to be, hey, Mr. Chef was the first thing you heard, but that's what you got. Welcome to Roulette Rivals World Championship 2021. This uh, winner's bracket round four match between Ducker and Froaty7. Uh, I'm joined for this match by Agent 420. Agent 420, say hello to the people. What's happening, everybody? What's happening, Gordy? How you doing, mate? I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, just uh, just been setting up for this, looking through the stats and stuff. Of course, I only sort of scratched the surface with uh, what the boys have been doing in RRWC 2021. I'm sure you've got a few things to say about, well, their history, because they got a long one. I mean, they're a pair of winners. They are. I can't say much more about that. Um, both both on fantastic form. Um, very highly anticipated matchup. Yeah. Uh, no doubt about that. I mean, look at the look at the map performance as well on Bangkok. Ducker nine to one, and Furry seven to one. It's that's pretty damn good. Ducker a five time Roulette Rovers champ. Furry a four time Roulette Rovers champ. Um, yeah, there's, there's these boys have uh, they've seen some Hitman. They have seen some Hitman. No doubt about it. But uh, yeah, Bangkok first chosen by Ducker. He's banned Colorado though. Ducker, I find that interesting. Um. Rude, in fact, is how I'd find that. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's one of my preferred maps. I do uh, I, I'm not very good at it, but I do like it. Either way, the spin is here. Four twenty. Do you want to break it down for us? Go on in. We have Jordan Cross, fallen object as exterminator. Ken Morgan, drowning as a waiter. Okay. Could we be seeing a bug man? One. Could we be seeing a quick spin? Possibly. Um... Bringing him down and using the seeker to get him under the coconuts is is, is an approach. Um, I don't think it's one we're going to see. Funnily enough, I actually shared not an hour ago, brand new Jordan Fallen Object Strat. Uh, bringing him down to the same room you throw the explosive baseball in. I wonder if anyone clocked that yet. I don't Very even know what room. Snake. I don't even know um, what room you throw the explosive baseball in, to be fair, but uh, there you go. <laughs> So uh, there's a, there's plenty of options anyway. Is what we're trying to say. There's a there's a strat to get him upstairs in in the uh, attic in his bathroom up there. There's a chandelier or something. Not a chandelier. It's a light actually. It is a light. Yeah. Well, Ducker has gone straight in. He's uh, obviously got the longer loading times. He's the only console player left in the competition in the winners bracket, I believe. Mhm. Mm that is true. But look at that throat hot on his heels. Uh, started much later, but only about 10 seconds in game time difference. Difference in starts. St uh, Ducker starting kitchen assistant. Throaty getting his kitchen assistant up in Jordan's uh, penthouse. So he does get the quicker uh, quicker lie there and access to a. I was going to say cleaver, but that was a different spin from a different game. So what's the kitchen assistant for? What am I missing? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, it's only Ken they want to try. Well, I, get, I get it for Ducker because he's doing the, the cake opportunity for, for a very easy falling object accident. Froaty, of course, doing the uh, the, the snail under the, the lamp upstairs. Okay. Doesn't really... I'm not sure why he took that disguise. That's a... Each to their own. I'm sure there's a, there's a reason for it that will come clear later on. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm just trying to think about that myself, but then, you know. Um, meanwhile, I uh, just want to note the fact that straight away we're at explosive start here. Two different strats, different approaches, different ways to view the map. Uh, personally, kind of giving Froaty the, uh, the, 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 the edge here. In the that's beginning. a rip. I like, I like his approach, and oh, of course that's going to seal that deal there. That is a Ducker rip from Ducker. Rip. Yeah, Ducker had camera trouble, but he... Um, he got himself into the security room there and was spotted throwing the EMP, um, which oh, it was spotted Easy from behind overlooked. him as well, as well. So um, yeah, that's that's a that's a bad rip from Ducker. He was throwing you know, a minute and forty yes, well advantage here. I see the beautiful thing about what Froaty set up here is um, the snail being the snail. Um, we'll, we'll knock Jordan out and just leave him there lying under the fallen object forever. He can go and claim that kill whenever he's ready. So he can invest all his time. He has unfortunately missed Ken. This is unfortunate for Froaty. He's going to be looking at second cycle Ken, which could be a while yet. Um, Jordan will be long dead by then. Um, in fact, I think we have seen in this tourney already 
Ken being isolated in that little toilet down, which is right next to the waiter's disguise. So That's a good most point. Most likely, we'll be uh, we'll be seeing that approach there. That's a very good point. Quite a convenient spin, actually. Think about it. if he hadn't missed that timing on Ken, um, <laughs> yeah. that, that would that could have been remarkably fast. It's unfortunate. Of course, that does now give Docker time to catch up, but. Yeah, you know the, the excuse me the cake strat isn't a fast strat uh, i'm not entirely sure how slow but it's nowhere near as fast as what throat has done with the the bathroom oh, ducker already had camera trouble uh, but he's timed it nicely so um and gets the throw off that time quite happily he's gonna pop that emp charge and the cameras are no longer a problem in Bangkok. Bangkok's second biggest boss has been defeated. And the biggest bosses in Bangkok are the players right now. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it. And Ducker getting a bit of whoosh going through the main lobby there, but uh, that's to be expected. Also, uh, also right. planting the letter for Ken. This I'm surprised about. So, so fundamentally, Froty's got a. a is he waiting for the exterminator to come in? He might be actually. Is he trigger that conversation with the exterminator? And obviously, a minute or so later, he he comes into this room, doesn't he? To check on the machine. Yeah, has a housekeeper so, with him. So, here he is. Look. There we go. It's a nice free disguise for the uh, for the Jordan kill. Yeah. Two quick knockouts. I'm just concerned that I think he's going to wait here now for for Ken potentially, so as not to miss him on his second cycle. Ducker, meanwhile. He is also down on that floor, just uh, dragging the security guard into uh, by the uh, AC unit there, or the ventilation unit. Box His letter as well, right? Ducker has done the letter, yep. Yeah. Did see Ducker do so the letter. So realistically, Ducker's got first cycle letter. This this is going to be huge. Um, realistically, he's going to get a super fast Ken here, and then he's off to go and get Jordan at Cake Law. Whereas Froaty already has his Jordan set, but he has to wait that for, for Ken, Ken to wander about the place. Morgan. Looks oh, like yeah. he's going up trying to find... What, what is he doing? Oh yeah, he let... this is what I was saying. He's, he's, he's got halfway up to go and get Jordan and, and realised he needs to go back down for Ken now because he'll miss him. Uh, it's just such an awkward timing. I think may, maybe that exterminator at the back might have, might have made this play a lot differently. They're getting the knockout on... Um, is it Otis? Uh, yes. Yeah, Ducker getting the knockout on Otis, just waiting for Ken to turn back around, go downstairs, and of course, like you say, the toilet he will go and be sick in has a waiter disguise right next to it. It's uh, one of the most convenient kill combos I've, I've seen ever. Very handy, very useful. For something that was once not even in competition. For drowning, yes. Yeah, drowning never used to be allowed, but... Um, it is now, and we can see Fro he's uh, just coming up to the Ken our things. Otis gets a uh, hammer across the back of the head. There it is. Must Ducker say. gets the kill. Ducker gets first, first kill. I think Fro he might still have this. That that ISO on uh, Jordan is huge, and as long as he's he hasn't miscalculated and haven't passed out and missed, um, I can't see. Like it's all set up for him. He has, he has the other disguise. Ducker, on the other hand, is just forced to basically wait. Yeah, is he? Yeah, I don't think he's even kicked him out yet, is he? He's got a little while to go yet. They got to sing happy birthday. Oh yeah. Um, of course, once it's just Jordan and Dexy, he can strike, knock her out, punch him, so on and so forth. But this is this is the most agonising part, especially after a reset as well. Of course, yeah. you take that reset out of here. Okay. Um, Duck is probably done by now. Go shut those doors. Your father is there we go. Dex is going to get it from behind. Jordan gets punched in the foot. Oh, slap! <laughs> that's not very. Well, that's letting Jordan know. <laughs> that's Jordan. That's letting uh, Jordan know he's a little bitch boy. Yeah, so it's about <laughs> as manly as Jordan deserves, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we go with the chandelier kill from Ducker. Green guns with are a loud, back. With a loud pistol. Brody, however, is just looking for his shot. Oh, he's uh, doing it from we, here. Yeah, there we go. There is Froaty's oh, shot. We nice. have a race to the exit, boys. 
Uh, both going for Tuck Tuck. Both. Oh, uh, that's fine. Gets away with the enforcers. Ducker, that was a bit sketchy there. That was sketchy. The wrench. He is going to make it out first. And as a console player with two restarts, I think we can probably call it here. That's so looking really good. Making a run to the main exit. It's going to cost him approximately 10 to 15 more seconds yet. That was so risky, though. That drain pipe down the back. Yeah, that was uh, very close. But that, the, the fact that that guy was walking across there, then that could have gone wrong. Well looks, played, Ducker. Looks like, Fro run. looks like Fro he's forcing the photo finish, though. But like you say, looking likely Ducker will take it. Loading times and photo finishes tend to favour the console player. But um, for... for uh, for fairness, obviously they still have to be counted because, well, you've you've got to have the numbers. Mm -hmm. They may only be numbers, okay. but you've got to have them. Props like to Ducker on that. Like, that was a very, very, despite the rip, a very um, convincing performance there. Throat, of course, as well, very, very convincing. But um, as Look you say, just, just got himself stuck in the middle there. A bit unsure which way he wanted to go with the strat and the timing just wasn't kind to him. No, it wasn't. Um, look at the in-game times there. Uh, Duck with a 5 minute and 27 run uh, to seal his sure. deal. Uh, Froey was 7 minutes and he's already gone off the screen, so thanks for that, Froey. <laughs> <laughs> 748. 748, okay, there we yeah. go. But uh, yeah, we're just waiting for uh, Mr. Mike is our admin for this evening. He will be uh, he will be captaining us through these choppy waters. Uh Metaphor, metaphor, metaphor. But yeah, Perfect. cracking first map, though. That's a great start to this game. Yeah, um, fantastic. Uh, brilliant stuff. Uh, I finished straight away is pretty much probably where we, where we expected to see it. Yeah. Uh, Ducker's strat definitely um, proven to be faster there. Oh, indeed. Even with the oh, birthday no. cake. I mean, you, you think, oh, birthday mm. cake, really? And then it's like, yeah, birthday cake. But lovely from Froaty as well. Long Ranger but, with a pistol across the roof. Though, Ducker Strat was only faster because Froaty missed that first cycle on Ken. It was. That that was the single deciding factor in that match, if you ask me. I think if Froaty managed to hit that, Ducker's restart was too much. He um, only had missed he hit it as that well. and Ducker had not restart, then boy, we had a match on our hands. He only missed it by a few seconds as well. It wasn't too far. Ken had only just started walking away. Uh-huh. Uh, when uh, when Froaty placed the letter, but still yeah, we got away. Unfortunate. Hello, Barb. Welcome in, sir. I can't hear him. Can you hear Barb? I can see him talking, no. but oh, I can't either. Oh, Barb. Oh, here we go. <laughs> there here he is. Go. Hey, gents, how you doing? Not too Bye. bad, mate. Not too bad. Did you get to watch any of that Bangkok, or did you miss it? Unfortunately, I missed it. Though I am uh, all here now. Oh, good. That's the main thing. But uh, no, it was a cracking, uh, it was a cracking first map. Uh, Ducker with um, one restart. Uh, we are in a photo finish, but I think Ducker was out. Ooh. Oh, about 10, about 15, 20 seconds that, before that Froaty. 15, I think. Yeah, there they're about. Um, just Should... waiting for Mr. Mike to uh, finish counting. For Two reference, restarts to one pretty much signs and seals it there, in my opinion. Yeah, Ducker did exit thirty-three seconds earlier, apparently. So uh, thirty-three, Crikey. thirty-three. But uh, it was within Stream 40, delay. was within the 47 <laughs> seconds. So, um, you know, obviously you still got to have the count back to see what the crack is. But uh, once we're done here, we will be off to Marrakesh, which is Froey's pick. And like I said earlier, the two maps we will not be seeing. We will not be seeing Colorado and we will not be seeing Mumbai. So again, like I said, boo to Ducker for banning Colorado. And well done, Froey. You, you, <laughs> you have our undying love for banning Mumbai. But maybe you could have stretched that to Santa Fortuna and Haven as well. But uh, hey, you only get one map you can ban. It is what it is. But yeah, Mr. Mike still counting. I'm still waiting to see who I can give these Bruce Bucks out to. Legally, I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be Quacker. Of course, I have to write Quacker in the predictions rather than Ducker because Twitch thinks I'm swearing. <laughs> I don't know why. I see Twitch Mr. Mike is typing, so the Ooh. determination, I think, will be arriving soon. Okay, can he type quicker than Yanini? I know he can't speak quicker than Yanini. None of us can speak quicker <laughs> than Yanini. <laughs> oh, but oh, here Mr. Mike certainly can type quicker. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
Ducker had 39 seconds of loading loading across two starts. Oh, crikey. Yeah, Throat had seven seconds of loading across one start. Ducker extends his lead to 55 seconds and wins Bangkok. So we are now off to Marrakesh with Ducker two points to nothing in the lead. Of course, it is um, the first to six. This being a round four match. And yeah, so stakes are high. The stakes are very, very high. As we pointed out earlier on, the winner will go on to face Kei Kanata uh, in the semi-final, and the loser will drop down to the LB to face the winner of Chris X3 and Yanini. Either way, we're off to Marrakesh. Let's go and have a quick look at the mission briefing. We'll be back in a sec. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Good evening and welcome back to Roulette Rivals World Championship 2021. This is a winner's bracket round four match between Ducker and Throat. Uh, Ducker took the first match, which was uh, Bangkok. Um, it was a photo finish, but once the counting had been done, Ducker's lead was extended to 55 seconds overall. So he took that one. Uh, this is We're now going on to Marrakesh, as you can see, chosen by Throaty. Uh, let's see if he can retain his map as well. Now, 420 during the break, you were saying that these two guys never faced each other in the uh, World Championship last year. I just had a brief look, so. Um, Ducker has only ever lost to six people, and Froaty is not one of them. Mm. Um, he lost to the two grand finalists in last year's RWC, which is, is no surprise. Uh, you need, need him for fun. Mm -hmm. um, and a few, a few other notable players, but Froaty has not. I, mean, I don't even think they've played, to be honest with you. I think that the only chance was the cross because of the cross-platform thing. The only chance was last year. Uh, so this will be their first competitive matchup. Good stuff. Well, quite looking forward to seeing how it plays out. And very uh, much. Like we say, we are after Marrakesh. Arb, since you've just joined us, why don't you break it down for us? I'd be happy to. And we have Reza Zaydan, eliminated with injected poison, disguised as elite soldier, and Klaus, eliminated with an explosive accident while disguised as a waiter. Oh, wow. Okay. Holy shit, that's a genuine speedrun. Yeah. I, I'm quite looking forward to seeing how this plays out. So Depends how ballsy are. they are, but Zaydan's dead in 15 seconds. Uh, Klaus, potentially, you're going to pull the fire alarm and rig him in the basement and, and get out of there. Frody's going in first. Okay, I should imagine we're going to see a school start then, as a soldier, and Frody certainly is. Ducker is replanning? Ducker's replanning. Oh, that that could see. hurt. Frody is committed, he knows what's up. He's going straight in this office. 
Uh, yep. He's going to poke, poke um, Razor. That is the first kill. I said 15. It is 17. Oh, it's a GRB. <laughs> oh, oh, my what is GRB. it with GRB? What is it with throat and uh, military disguises on this map? But look at that. He's straight <laughs> back in. He's straight back in. That load yeah, time is nothing at all, but wow. Sure, can... another, another photo finish is a... Uh... Possibly on I mean, the current. Look, look, look at Ducker, though. Still, still struggling, waiting to get, get in. It's... I feel yeah. Now to locate oh, when he gets there it that go. time. Well done. He caught it that time. Thank goodness just... he gets it. And he's going for the uh, was it Lotus Blossom? Um, honeysuckle Lotus Blossom? Blossom? Uh, this one is Honeycomb. Honeycomb, Cherry Blossom, and Honeycomb. That's the two. But GRB is an affectionate community name we give to the to the moments when you try and do something behind oh, someone and then you turn around and punch them instead. Whoa. Yep. Uh, coined by, I think it was Penny, aging FPS, saying something like, get wrecked, bitch. <laughs> In exactly that way. <laughs> exactly. Every, every time somebody gets that moment, we all think it in our heads. Oh, yeah, we do. Get wrecked, bitch. <laughs> well, Ducker has also got uh, uh, Razor Zaydan deaded, and honeycomb. he has also initiated Honeycomb. I barely yeah. overlooked Honeycomb, you never need to fire alarm, do you? You just make him walk down there. You can indeed. It's an explosion accident rather than the fire. Uh, of course, that's a viable one for Honeycomb, if ever there was one. Just to see what Throat is doing is come for the, the, the free waiter, the one you usually send in with the poison. Yeah. I'm not sure what his play is. He's trying to lure him into the cupboard there. Well, there is a place to box him. Uh, fair. They kind of... He's got the woman instead. Oh, no, <laughs> no. That's annoying. Now, obviously, the waiter off as well, just to make this even worse. He's got to try and knock her out, box her, without him walking too far away. Yeah, of course, he's going to be going to deliver so some he's food. Let her go. There we go. He's going to. Oh, bump, no, we got bump, some bump, stuff bump. there. Um, I kind of thought we'd just see like a trank in the chair or something. Yeah, possibly. Ducker, trank though, he's looking to get in the office. Ducker's looking to get his waiter from the Shisha Cafe. I'm at the lobby, check. Okay. Oh, he's tranked him anyway. He's tranked him anyway. <laughs> Decided not to cause any panic though. He wanted to do it in that bit there. Ducker has got himself a memetic mine underneath a waiter in the shisha cap. Mm. But Throaty can pick himself up any number of um, propane flasks. He's already got one in hand. He's got one from a food store there. Heading through the shoe shop. No, going straight past the shoe shop and doubling back on himself. Change his mind. Okay. Going to the parking garage. Probably going to go for the parking garage. Much easier. Far, far less people to get in the way. Sure, where he's catching Klaus, but he's about to. Yeah, Klaus is just walking past the propane. That's true as well. He Not is. That it hurts to carry that one, but no. He's also he missed out on what I was hoping to see. There's a there's a little red hatch back there that he walks past. Oh, I'd love good. to see someone blow that up and actually use a um, car, a static object as opposed oh, to yeah. a, a propane tank. Look, he's only missed it by a few seconds. Plus the um, other, the other part of that propane uh, flask that's above the ledge there, behind Froaty, is that you would have to go around and down the stairs. You can't just drop down that ledge. Oh, Klaus has called in that distraction. Is he uh, VIP? Yeah, I, I, I don't know why he threw that because that was kind of probably just trying inevitable. to catch him. He, he, he didn't even come though. To... He hasn't even gone to get the distraction. He didn't even go and investigate. Side knockout. Seems to be okay. That's fine. Oh, oh he got the target you. locked down. But he has got to hide you this body to before to he blows him up. Wait, body found? Yeah, rip. The guard at the end oh, saw it. No. Rip no. through me. Oh, wow. That's another, unfortunate. Another that guy was just on, um, just on that rough part. Cause he, I don't know if you know, he walks all the way up to them stairs as part of his cycle. He's got quite a long patrol from the from the weapons down down that tunnel and we go see ducker actually throwing mm. the propane down but nobody uh nobody noticed it so that's fine no issues that's there unfortunate see the thing is ducker's got a similar issue in that he's let let him get quite far but it's not it's not the biggest issue in the world i, I feel like for he kind of rushed that maneuver there well i mean um, you're gonna start feeling the tension where you are gonna rush things a bit bit more because again definitely we are quite late in the comp and it is ducker sure um no, no no not throwing shade but i mean the point i'm trying to make is that klaus is going to go as you can see on ducker screen and stand still just down the bottom of the stairs sure it's mm -hmm. not like you've really lost him that much you've just got to do what ducker's doing here 
get changed, bring the propane down, set it up, go back up, get changed, and blow it up. Well, uh, the question I've got is, why is he going to set this up that the breacher doesn't get taken in the time he needs? He's got a spare karma here. It looks like he's going to do a bit of a uh, preparation for that. Is it karma or is it seeker? It's a seeker. That was a seeker. Yeah, a seeker. Yeah. Okay. Fruity yeah, this time. The seeker there to stop the roamer. That's so smart. Ooh, Fruity um, karma the uh, waiter uh, in the chair this time, and it's all. I mean, Christ, that man fair ran there. And that's a rip. Nice try. Oh. That soldier came around the corner at exactly the wrong time for Froaty there. So that's another. <laughs> Ducker with the kill. Ducker didn't leave a breacher there. He just come back and shot it. Yep. Wow. It was a steal, mate. Well played. Yeah, he uh, bullet distraction to turn up, turn the soldier around. The uh, is it an officer down? I don't think it's an officer. Uh, it's just yeah, uh, it's he, an he enforcer. Got rid of the soldier, and there's an officer there as well. So. Yeah, he's an officer, is that? I don't know, but that, he's an enforcer. That's the NPC keys. Yeah, he's an, he's definitely an enforcer for uh, most disguises there. But Ducker is changed back into an elite soldier. He is on his way out. He's going to go find himself. Is he going to go get the car keys, or is he just going to go straight out the front door? I don't think so. I don't think it's really any faster. No, he's going to go out the front door. He's going to, probably going to take the uh, uh, the lamp shop, is it the uh, carpet shop exit? Mm hmm. Looks that way anyway. Need to get the VAR out. <laughs> VAR. Uh, Close as we get good. to that, his photo finishes around here, and I don't think we're going to need it. Once again, it's very unfortunate for Frodo that guy just happened to be. We come in then, because I think what five seconds, ten seconds to hide that body and, and blow him up, and it was it was good again. It was it right just, on the edge, man. Right on the edge. It. So unfortunate. Wow. And there you go. Quackman takes round two. So we're off to the first of the RNG maps. And we're gonna soon wow. find out whether it's Dubai. Another quick map. Let's get the predictions paid out. They have been paid out, and we have started the new one for round three. Dubai, Dubai. Well, well, well. Well, Ducker, doing the console boys proud, I should have thought here. I, I should imagine everybody with a PlayStation or an Xbox controller is holding it close to their chest at the moment and hoping that one of these plucky youngsters can uh, come out against these PC bullies. But we'll see what happens. We've still got, We've still got maps to play. It's not over yet. I mean, we've all seen Froaty when he's got his back against the wall. He does not mess around. He is up 4-0 and on this map. 100% win rate. Docker 4-1, in one, 80%. You've got to give Froaty the the, um, the advantage here going in, haven't you? He, he, he does tend to get meaner and nastier the more it goes against him. And uh, I can imagine that he's uh, he's well up to the task. Okay, let's go and have a quick look at the mission briefing, and we'll be back in a sec. The partners are down there. You know... I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. 
Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Good evening, welcome back to Roulette Rivals World Championship 2021. Uh, this round four winner's bracket match between Ducker and Froat. As you can see by the scoreline there, Ducker has taken the first two matches and he leads 4 0. We're now off to Dubai, which is the first random map, map to be picked. Uh, Ducker taking Bangkok and Marrakesh. Ducker chose Bangkok, Froat, and Marrakesh. But yeah, some unfortunate, uh, some for unfortunate incidents for Froat in the first, uh, well, in Marrakesh. And also Bangkok really just just missing it by a smidge. Ducker not missing out at all. But anyway, Dubai. As you can see, 100% win rate for Froey, 80% win rate for uh, Ducker. Both winning only four matches there though in competition, but it should be interesting. Barb, your take on the match so far. Um, this is uh, an insane matchup. A five-time roulette champion versus a four-time roulette champion. You know, we know Frody's got tricks and he's got knowledge, so hopefully we can see him pull ahead because I'd like to watch a couple more matches yet. Yeah, well, um, <laughs> you're not supposed to show any bias, but I quite agree. Okay. No, I was going to say the same thing. For, for, for such a stacked match, it's a surprise that it seems so one-sided so far. Uh, well, that's just the way that roulette crumbles. But either way, we're in Dubai. We've got Carl Ingram with a fire axe as event staff and Marcus Stuyvesant electrocution as Ingram's bodyguard. Okay, then. No need to start in a suit. Both players loading in at the same time. Frody is obviously going to get in before Ducker. <laughs> they both hit play pretty um, pretty much simita simultaneously, yeah? Mm -hmm. Apparently it's not going to be a photo finish. <laughs> yeah okay uh, both with different starts though Froaty starting is the um, uh, is that a penthouse guard? that's not a penthouse guard is yeah, it? that's, that's just, the, uh, just security guard just event security, security guard. event security yeah, of course uh, Ducker starting is the uh, tech crew staff there political fixer Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come both clearing out this area by Carl Ingram, where he starts. Nice and safe. I mean, we got what four guards there, one one target, and nobody looks at each other. No, well, they're too, they're it's overconfident. One of the, one of the freest <laughs> targets in history. Yeah, they're at the top of the world. They're not looking <laughs> over their shoulder. Yeah, you make a point. <laughs> I mean, why do you have four guards if you're not looking over your shoulder? Well, because so you don't have to look over your shoulder. It's the guards that are not looking over the bloody shoulders. They're the ones not doing their job. The billionaire Hashtag. was absolutely doing his job by employing that many guards. But uh, Duck, we're about to close in on Stuyvesant here now. Well, so speak to people who ain't doing their job. What are the players doing? <laughs> I was just saying. I was just telling you. Arrogant little worm. So, uh, pretty evenly matched, I'd say, so far. The world, um, everything's all in this one area, isn't it? There's... There's nowhere to go. Yeah. Three disguise here as Throat is showing off. Fire Axe is just down the stairs. Duck is about to go mm -hmm. fetch that now. Um, got to give the lead to Throat here, it looks. He seems to be a little further ahead. That may just be a... In fact, it's probably not a loading. So there's, only, there's only like five seconds in game, in it. Yeah, there's only five so, seconds uh, in game. But I would say Throat definitely has more say, than five seconds real estate uh, right. advantage there. We're, uh, yeah, we're looking good here. All we need to do is drag uh, Marcus upstairs. Hit his uh, taser. Has he got a taser? No, nope, he hasn't picked it up. That must be in the cupboard where he got his disguise from. Uh, Frody does have his taser, I believe. I thought he just dropped it in the uh, puddle. Yeah, Frody did drop did it. Yeah, I think oh. so. Uh, Ducker's just got the kill on Ingram. 
So now it becomes a race of the drag, and they're both going for the same spot. For it using the correct oh disguise, although Decker has one up there, so that's not a problem in that this respect. Is crazy, crazy close. Yeah. There's the puddle, uh, there's the pop, and there is the exit right in front of him. No, he still has to get it. You're oh, right. Oh, he hasn't gotten it yet. I thought oh, he did drop it. Oh, wow. Oh, I told you he didn't. He, look, he looked at his inventory. That's why he's in his inventory for uh, so long. He's like, oh, I thought he dropped, dropped it from his inventory real quick. Interesting. The Ducker does have the here. taser. Ooh. Yeah, Ducker got it from the room with the um, Ooh. the disguise. Thing, I should imagine. Okay, so the second kill goes to Ducker there. Froaty's awesome. got the kill as well. Over. And Ducker is out at 2 minutes and 49 this seconds. Froaty is out 2 minutes over. and 55. Oh, oh wow. GG, Ducker, GG, Froaty as well. But no rips. Is... Oh, I don't think there were any rips there, and I think that is that again is looking good for. It, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, that is indeed looking good for Ducker there, but of course, Mr. Mike mm -hmm. still has to do the maths. Uh, I'm sure at one point he's going to make a rule change saying, I do not want to do the bloody maths anymore. Oh. <laughs> 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 Can we just make a judgment call as long as it's so obvious? But, um,. Yeah, that's, uh, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The problem with these quick maps, when you've got two Titans like this, it doesn't take very long. And look at the three, three maps we had. What do we have? Um, Bangkok, uh, Marrakesh, and then Dubai. Um, Bangkok and Marrakesh, not the fastest maps in the world, but they certainly aren't the length of something like a Mumbai, like a Santa Fortuna. You can certainly get a lot done in a very short amount of time there. Oof, 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 oof. Well, let's, uh, let's cast our eyes over to the Discord. Photo finish for reference, Ducker exited seven seconds earlier. Wow. That's a wrap, isn't it? Well, if you look at the in-game time as well, that kind of gives, um, that kind of tells the story as well. Sure, no restarts either side. Um... Chat asking and we've already it's... had a couple of photo finishes. We know the comparisons in 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 timing here. It's yeah. not even a guess at this point. Barb, you uh, you even made the point that they both hit play pretty much same time. Yeah, I, I, I'm more interested to see what the official verdict of throat's loading time was because that was like half a second. Like I don't know if they count. Yeah, it was very spaces quick. that small. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm sure um, the mechanism for when done is hit is uh, is there for hit maps. I think I've seen like ten tenths of seconds before now. But I'm sure there must be a rule in the says it's to the nearest second. I think they're within within a second yeah. accuracy, I believe. But either way, if Ducker does take that, then that would mean it was six nil, and that would be the end of this match. Because uh, it is ra uh, round four match, so it is the first to six. Uh, four twenty. You and I were talking off stream earlier on. Uh, you were saying about when the uh, when the points start to hike up. When's the next increase in uh, in uh, points required for a win? Um, finals, losers bracket, and grand finals, I believe. Then it goes up to eight. Do double check that for you now, but it will be a best of. No, losers bracket final. I do pardon my losers bracket final is first to eight points. Grand final will be first to ten. Okay, wow, oh, wow. So we are looking at a minimum of five maps won on a grand final. That's so going to be a big day. Out. It's going to be a big uh -huh. day, huge day. And of course, you're going to expect that as well because it's not as if like uh, with the normal roulette rivals comps that you have uh, a console uh, console final and then a PC final. It's all all rolled into one with the uh, with the WC and there it is there is the confirmation from Mr. Mike he's just typing now in the discord let's see what he has to say Mr. Mike for reference Ducker exited seven seconds earlier Ducker had 13 seconds of loading across one start Throat had eight seconds of loading across one start Ducker extends his lead to 12 seconds and wins Dubai and also this match. GG's to Ducker and look at the throat there. Um, it's not as if he played badly because we know he did not. He played very, very, very well. Indeed. But, uh, Ducker just getting it done on the night. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, it lads. Was a show. That was a cracking was match. A good show indeed. Let's have a quick look at the brackets then. I know we've already. Uh, already said what the, what the crack is but 
You might want to see it in graphical representation since the boys worked so hard to make it look so pretty. There we go, round four is all done, which leads us into the semi-finals. You got Kei Kanata versus Ducker for the semi-final. Fruity has dropped down to the LB, so he's not out of it yet. He still gets another bite of the cherry. Uh, he's going to face the winner of Chris X3 versus Yanini. And in the other matches scheduled to play, we've got, or even destined to play, we've got Meme Junkie versus Danny Buta. The winner of that will go on to face Pajiro. And then on they will go to see who face. Well, we got what well, let me have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches left to go. So really not much to go left in this tournament. So well, it's been heating up for a while. I was about to say it's starting to heat up, but no, it's been it's been heated up and hot and oh, warm. Oh, it's scorching. It's, yeah, it's, it's scorching now. There are there are little curly bits on the end. It's all a little bit on the burnt side now. <laughs> you do not want to miss any of these last eight matches for sure no you oh, absolutely do not let's see what we got scheduled what is uh, actually on the docket just that one match at the moment Chris X3 versus Yanini and that will be tomorrow at 10pm Central European time uh, Santa Fortuna and Scale GK Punk and Gunther will be your hosts for that match uh, the other matches haven't been scheduled yet obviously they've only just really been uh uh, formulated but uh, keep your eyes on hitmaps.com or in the discord to see when these matches will be played Whew, 420 any takeaways from that mate he got the console massive yo <laughs> <laughs> really Holmes <laughs> shout out Ducker representing no shout out to Ducker seriously though. absolutely phenomenal player just swept one of the best in the business what can you say that's only the second sweep as well in the bracket so far. Uh, the only other one being Danny Buter sweeping David Red Sox last night. So, yeah, sweeps in short supply. So, fair play to uh, Ducker on that one. Um, Barb, what are your thoughts, mate? Anything you want to leave, uh, leave the audience with? Uh, just that everyone should be open-minded, that even the best of the best sometimes can meet their match and, uh, and get swept, but it's uh, it's all part of the fun it's all part of the journey and learning and uh and uh just thanks to both players for putting on a show and uh roulette for life man it's awesome i love this game mode it's so cool yeah and if you need any more inspirational quotes please check out barbecue for life dot com and uh <laughs> he has a, uh, an affirmation course for 60 dollars a day and uh, you will be a much better person for it <laughs> well thank you chat uh for coming in and uh witnessing this with us uh 420 barb thank you boys for uh coming to cast this with me it's been an absolute blast thank you ducker thank, thank you froty for playing uh sorry barb didn't mean to get you on <laughs> thank you uh thank you to our players as well uh well let's go uh let's go give ron a raid he's the only one i can see that's on at the minute uh he's playing a bit of hitman so yeah i'm sure he wouldn't mind a bunch of uh, bloodthirsty roulette enthusiasts rocking up in his chat. All right, boys. We'll see you soon, yeah? Adios. Till next time. Cheers, Barb. Cheers, 420. Cheers. Oui.